So we have a 500 series monitor installed with firmware 1.0. Uh, we're showing a loop of our semi-annual convertible Blue Ridge Parkway trip um, shot with the FS700. Um, it's log footage. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and apply a lookup table. If I click the joystick and add a new tool and go down to overlay, I can access the looks that I have on the SD card. So I'm going to pull up an S-Log lookup table that I have stored on the card, something that can add uh, some more ca contrast and saturation back into the image. There we go. With firmware 1.0, we've added a couple cool features I'd like to point out. If I add a new page and would like to add waveform to this page, I can do that by going over to waveform, adding it to the page. I can customize the waveform here. I can choose to do full screen, adjust the width, the height, and even location of the waveform. Let me put it in the corner. Um, I can even adjust the opacity. So there we go. We have waveform assigned to this page. Another feature that we've added is audio meters. And what you may or may not know about the 500 series is that you can add a new tool to every page. Um, it could be useful, for instance, with audio meters. So I'm going to show you how to do that in overlay audio meters, instead of hitting the plus, go down to those three dots and you'll, you'll see multiple plus signs. That's adding it to all the pages. You can see it down at the bottom there. And if I want to customize audio meters, I can click in. I can change the size. How many channels? And it'll go up to eight channels and then the location of the audio meters. And as you can see, if I add a new page, audio meters will automatically be added. Um, some of the other features added with firmware 1.0, you can see by going over to the settings menu, and you can see we, we've updated DSLR scale, anamorphic D-squeeze, and image rotate. And that includes auto image rotate, which is the default setting. The last feature that I want to show you that has been added to the 500 series with firmware 1.0 is image capture and overlay. The image capture button is located on the top right corner of the 500 series monitor. If I press it, it'll take a screen grab from your live footage and store it to the SD card. Now to access image overlay to do something like a, a shot match, I would add a tool, go down to overlay, and then image overlay. I can customize image overlay to change the opacity and also the blink speed. To help match a shot. Um, if I didn't want the latest image captured, I would just uncheck the box here that would allow me access to any image file located on the SD card. So that's a quick run through of firmware 1.0 on the 500 series monitor for a complete list of changes and bug fixes. Please see the information below.